in order to really get to grips with um, astrological prediction or forecasting, I think is a better word, we need to get to grips with the fundamentals of the symbols that we're using. Um, for example, we'll take the new moon as an example. Uh, because one, once one sees the pattern emanating from the symbol, the, the core meaning, if you like, of a, of, a, of a particular pattern, then one can grasp how that pattern uh, moves uh, into the future and creates certain effects or allows us to foresee certain things. That's what you might call forecasting or a kind of forward vision, a kind of projection of the pattern of the symbol into actuality, into the future. So, for example, the new moon, we have the symbols such as a something fresh, something new. The moon moves in front of the sun and it's as if at that point the masculine and feminine energies come together, they coalesce. There's a sexual connotation or a conjunction, a kind of uh, coniunctio would be it in, in uh, Latin, I think, a kind of connection between them in which that moment is a, is a kind of time suspended because when the sun and moon come together like that um, it, it, it's as if for that for that moment of time there isn't any movement uh, the sun and moon are beginning a whole new cycle putting it into the future and the sign of course will give us the general trend of that cycle a kind of energetic uh, quality to the whole month and the actual degree symbolism also of the of the new moon becomes important throughout the month on any horoscope that degree sim that degree especially if it falls on a natal planet becomes a kind of hot spot or a, or a point of focus within the two weeks leading up to the new uh, leading up to the full moon so the point about that is that uh, when we take that uh, that that uh, that symbolism of newness or freshness or conjunction or a kind of hot spot of activity, a kind of pregnancy waiting to happen. So we can see that the new moon is a kind of coalescing and as the moon moves up into the full moon, it's as if the, the, the potential of the seed or the potential inherent in that moment starts to generate a kind of growth a new birth of something and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until full moon we have the, uh, the the manifestation of whatever was started at the new moon now this uh, is a quite an interesting thing because uh, in certain magical practices it's often thought that we could plant a seed or a thought or an idea starting at the new moon and as, as it were magically allow it to evolve now, Dame Rudyard has done a lot on this, on the, uh, the degree symbolism of 30 degrees, 60, 45, and so on, around through to, to 90. And then, and then, of course, going up to the trine, 120, 135, and eventually up to the 180 mark. Each of these slowly progressing the cycle of the new moon into certain phases or stages of development. Each one of these stages have a, have a special name. The tension point, of course, being the uh, the uh, forty, the um, ninety degree angle or the square. When it comes, when it moves up from conjunction, it goes to the square, and then eventually it goes to the opposition like that. So this symbolism of seeding, and progressing, and moving towards a state of fullness or full awareness of something, is the arch symbolism surrounding the uh, the new moon and then moving to full.